Bye bye. Bye bye. Ja. Good everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well as usual. Now I'm about to just kick off my Fraser Island adventure. Just uh, leaving Tawanton, pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but uh, Noosa Heads. I rode up this morning from the Gold Coast about just under 200 kilometers, all freeway, which was boring as heck. But I'm here, I've just fueled up in Tawanton, and now I'm about to get this ferry over to Coolum Beach, start making my way north up to Rainbow before I uh, jump on another ferry or barge over to Fraser Island and get this three day adventure going. So, Hope you guys are keen to come along with me. Uh, just as keen as I am for this adventure, man. I've wanted to get to Fraser for a long, long time. And uh, it's finally gonna become reality. So I'll take you guys with me for the adventure. And uh, yeah, it looks like I've just missed that barge. But anyway, I'll get on this barge in a minute. I'll get over to Coolum Beach and uh, chat to you guys there when we hit some sand. There we go, one barge down for the day. Another one to go once I get up to Inskip Point and actually get over into Fraser. Be a bit longer of a trip. Not really how I wanted this trip to start. Got a leaky fork seal. I've just come over that barge from Noosa side. The beach entrance is just down the road here. I did notice it at the fuel stop just before the, the barge. I wiped it off and I was like, ah, it's something else. It wasn't from the fork. Just coming across the barge, it was a little bit there again. So I've pulled it off. I've uh, cleaned it all up the best I can around there. I can't see anything that would make it uh, leak. Like I thought maybe there might be some dirt or sand or something that's stuck in there and, and causing it to leak. But yeah, I'm not really sure. I've, Never really pulled that apart. I don't know a whole lot about suspension, but I got this suspension done last year before the Simpson trip. I haven't noticed any leaks until just now. I've wiped that off. I'll pull that cover back down. We'll keep tracking on. I mean, I've already paid for everything to go over to Fraser, so I, I don't really want to miss out. So hopefully it was just, there was something there causing it to leak and I've, I've cleaned it up and I've fixed it up. Not a way, not a good way to start a trip anyway, but we'll keep pushing on. What can you do? Hopefully my little uh, cleanup job has sorted the issue, but here we are. Just about to jump on to Coolum Beach. Or is it? No, sorry. Kalula. I think it's Kalula Beach. Maybe I messed up there, but uh, either way, about to get on the sand. I haven't aired down at all. I don't normally bother anyway. Low tide today is around 12 o'clock, 12.30, so it's probably still up a little bit at the moment, but it's on its way out, which should be good. <laughs> Not a good start. Get your feet up, Josh. There we go. <laughs> We're on. That's a good looking bike in my opinion. And man, this weather, unreal. Turn it on for me. I hope the next uh, or well, today and next two days are like this it'll be awesome um, I can't see any fork oil there at the moment just done about 10-15 minutes up the beach and uh, nothing there so hopefully it stays like that the rest of the trip this is a setup finally got a new tank bag after my other one got eaten by the rear wheel uh, on the Simpson trip got a new fender brace in there to stop the fender from buckling under the weight of that hopefully you can still hear me with this handheld camera it's a little bit breezy out here not camping in my own tent on Fraser uh, I've got a sleeping bag and a pillow in there but I've gone and booked a bit of a glamping tent at cathedrals on Fraser it's around about halfway north and south uh, on the island and it'll just give me an easier way to venture out tomorrow and in the the last day as well to sort of see the whole island I'll eat this apple, get back on the bike and keep heading north. 
The conditions on the beach are awesome compared to last time I rode this, so I've probably overestimated for how long it was going to take me to get to Rainbow. Shouldn't take me long to get to DI, we'll check that out, and then push on up to Rainbow Beach for some food. So here's this inland track. No doubt it'll be all chewed up for me. <laughs> get around and get a more straight run up. Oh my god! Oh, I nearly died! <laughs> wow! Oh, that was soft, but then I hit the rubber matting that just uh, is underneath this to make it easier for cars to get through, and my back wheel just spun on that rubber matting. Damn! I thought I was down then. Whew. Oh, what an adventure it already has been! <laughs> Look at that! Put that on a postcard guys, that is beautiful. Welcome to Double Island. Man, how good is that? And there's, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six cars down there. Last time I was here, this whole section was just bumper to bumper. So I didn't even go up this way. Let's go check it out, this is awesome. Water. We'll go here where it's a bit. Oh, unreal guys, unbloody real. <laughs> there is about a million crabs out there. Let's even get my camera and go see if they if they hang around or if they run off. They're everywhere. They all disappear in the ground, no doubt. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Man, they go all the way down. See you later, Double Island. Time to make a short little run down to Rainbow Beach or up to Rainbow Beach. I think it's about 10k, so it shouldn't take too long at all. But it looks like it should be a beautiful ride along the side of those cliff faces, mountain sides, whatever you want to call them. But it looks beautiful. Let's give it a go. Ooh, I don't know actually. Looks like there might still be water up up to the uh, side of this cliff down here. I don't know if I can get through yet. Maybe bikes can still get through, I don't know yet. Ease on in and have a quick look. <laughs> With all these branches and sticks went here. That'd be through easy, but... Just jump off and I'll go have a quick look just so I don't get to a spot where I can't go any further. Yeah, don't think it's going to happen guys. <laughs> Not without going through some salt water or moving a heap of this stuff. There's a part of it that I could get through up here. Looks like not really possible. There's a few sticks I could move up here and I reckon I could get to just there but that next bit looks just a bit too much. I don't really feel like going through salt water. The time that I spend here moving stuff to uh, get through, I probably could have went back and done the inland track anyways. I'll spin around, go back to that freshwater track and smash through there. I'll get some snippets for you, but um, yeah, I'll just be smashing it straight to rainbow guys let's go 
know if you guys can see that, but there's three fighter jets just cruising along on the water. I think they've got me covered for speed. <laughs> oh, come on. We can do it. Yeah, no, nah, they're gone. They're at Brisbane already. <laughs> three of them. That's sick. Get some fuel, have something to eat at the bakery, keep on moving. Now this is the main street of Rainbow Beach. Nice little spot. Just had a chat to one of the locals back there. The uh, servo at the bakery. Lucky, lucky man living here. It's beautiful. There was a few other guys on bikes at the service station when I just left and they rode up. Uh, from south as well, but they took the inland tracks behind the dunes um, But yeah, they said that they've heard um, even on low tide. It's it's a bit hit and miss of if you can get past uh, all those logs and sticks and stuff on Rainbow Beach, so Had I sat around and waited Who knows maybe it wasn't really going to drop any further than it, than it was at but None of that matters anymore <laughs> We're good to go Quick little run down, uh, what's this road called? Clarkson Drive and then Inskip Avenue. So on to Inskip Point. That's where I would have come out of, off the beach, just down there. But I'll just take the road down to Inskip Point, get in line for the barge, the ferry. And we're on, guys. Fraser Island. Here I come. Woo! Here we are, the infamous Inskip Point. All the campgrounds around. A bunch of people airing up after coming off Fraser. It's all happening. 60 bucks return for motorcycles, guys. According to uh, the website anyway, so that's up to date. 60 bucks compared to, I think it was almost a double for, maybe more than double for uh, cars full drives So it's an expensive little barge, but You're not gonna swim over there soft not too bad am I gonna get straight on oh wants me to wait up no dramas all right time to get on Good man, yourself. Yeah, good bunny. Have you got a ticket, mate, or you need one? No, I've got to buy one, yeah. Return, mate? Yeah, return, yeah. So it'll be 60, buddy. Just me. Yeah, so far. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. See you later. <laughs> oh, how good is this? As you can see, I had my own personal barge. <laughs> no one else on the thing at all. done a 
little over 30 k's up the beach. You can see in there, that's a little township of Yorong. I'll just call in and have a look. All fenced off from the dingoes. So basically it just looks like either people live here or work here that stay here. And you can stay here in those buildings, I guess. Pretty sure it says that you can get fuel and supplies and stuff here. Maybe I'm in the wrong little section, but that's a quick little look at your own. Back out onto the smooth, smooth beach. Well, there we go, there's another inland track just there where someone's bogged. <laughs> Can't help guys. But uh we've got to pull over. It's cops. Oh. <laughs> hey mate. Hi mate. How are you? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, this trip just got a whole lot more expensive. Man, I am absolutely filthy. I am fuming right now. <sighs> Got the utmost respect for police and the job, all of that business. I know it was 40, but I just come out of your wrong and yeah, obviously trying to build up some speed to go through that soft stuff. And then I honestly wasn't even looking at my speedo on a motorbike, barely even looked down. But Man, he pinged me for 58 and a 40, 430 dollars. Yeah, I'm pretty human. That's uh, rules are rules. I get it. You do the wrong thing. So I'm human. It's really annoyed me. It's ruined what has been a great day. Yeah, pissed off. Great start to Fraser. But enough of that. I'll shut up and keep moving until we find something else. To look at so tip for all you guys who come to Fraser yeah pay attention to the speed limits because they'll be here so this little part here is Poyangin Rocks that's how it's pronounced is Yidney Rocks and just on the other side of this point here is Happy Valley. Another spot that I thought of staying at but uh, it's more like I think it's like hotel sort of apartment rooms. It's a bit more expensive than what I'm in. Yidney Rocks accommodation up there. Well, maybe that's the way I have to go. <laughs> okay. I'm going through that, the water's lapping up on the rocks. Oh, I could ride up over there. But I want to check it out anyway, see what's up here, so just go the easy way. Beachfront units. That would be nice. It'd cost an arm and a leg. Better. Wow, is this, it doesn't say on the map, but I'm assuming this is Eli Creek. <laughs> so this is where everyone is by the look of it. is 
insane. It's all going on here. Doesn't really interest me hanging out with everyone there. <laughs> Might check it out on the way back. drives in front made it look like it was really deep. <laughs> Shouldn't be too much further and I think I'll be hitting the Mahino. I think I can see it way up in the distance there. So see you guys in a sec. So the SS Mahino ran aground in 1935. After spending most of its life as an ocean liner and also a short stint as a New Zealand hospital ship in World War One, it was under tow from Sydney to Japan on its way to a ship breaking yard. It was caught up in a cyclone along the way and the tow rope snapped, causing the Mahino to drift to the shore of Fraser and that's where it has remained to this day. There she is. It's pretty, pretty rusted away. Disappearing slowly. But anyway, it's cool. I might have got the place to myself once those few cars left, but nope, two of us, <laughs> more Forbes, garbage truck, it's all happening. Might sneak back down once these guys go and see if I can get a photo in front of the thing without my bike disappearing into the sand. I forgot to bring something to put underneath it. I'll get one of my thongs off, I reckon. Trusty Haviana holding the bike up, and now everyone's gone. It's all to myself. Surely that'll be a thumbnail. See you later, big Mahino. I'm sure I'll end up coming past it again. Uh, what have I got? 5.9 kilometers and I'm at cathedrals where I'm staying the night so it's nice and close. Here we are. Cathedral Beach. Another fenced in little area. Get those dingoes out. Yeah, I forgot to mention I did see one at uh, at the Mahino when I was flying the drone around. So I was obviously too busy flying the drone to to get a photo of it or video it or anything, but yeah, it was just cruising past all the other guys in their four drives down parked on the water. Here we are, cathedrals. I don't know where I go to check in. It's probably all just one building, but checked in as you can expect there's no key required for uh, a tent and I'm one of these bad boys down here tent number 15 15 right here look at that beauty Ah, not bad. Beats having to set up a tent.
Well, if this isn't the perfect place to end the day, I don't know what is. <laughs> place for myself, man. Views everywhere you look. Looks awesome. Weather is perfect. Can't complain about that at all, but what an awesome day. Great riding, obviously a couple of hours on the tarmac from the Gold Coast. Not so fun, but it was all right. The beach from uh, Noosa up to Rainbow Beach and that inland track, great fun. Uh, if you can hit it close to low tide, it's, yeah, it's pretty damn easy the whole way. That inland track isn't too tough. If you got half an idea on sand, you'll be just fine. And the same on the beach here at Fraser. Once you get on that east coast beach, if it's low tide, anywhere near low, low tide, you'll be able to just smash along there very easy and as we found out you can even go quicker than the speed limit and get pulled up and cop a $400 fine so that was a bit of a downer on the day no question it is what it is I'll get over it I've sort of gotten over it already and put it to the back of my mind so I'm going to enjoy the rest of this trip for what it is just have to be a bit more mindful when I get to those 40 kilometer zones and and yeah watch the speedo like a hawk so I don't creep up over that number Thanks for watching part one of my Fraser Island adventure. Show the like button some love if you did enjoy this one and consider subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss out on part two where things get even better. Thanks again guys, ride safe and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.